Tonight's gonna be a good night. It's George Ranch Longhorn, Friday Night Lights, 2015. Game six, the Foster Falcons and the George Ranch Longhorns play their first district game. The game is played at Trailer Stadium. George Ranch Longhorn, Friday Night Lights, 2015. It's produced by Jerry Toops. Always believe. George Ranch wins the toss, but the first of the second half. They kick off to Foster. A booming kick is bobbled by the Foster receiver. He picks it up, but can't run away from the Longhorns and is tackled around the 14-yard line. The Falcons start off with first down. The ball is handed off. No place to run up the middle. Number nine takes it to the outside, but is stopped for about a four-yard gain. On second down, the Falcons try to run right again, but they're stopped for little or no gain. This sets up a third and nine for the Falcons. The ball is snapped, the quarterback goes back, scrambles to his left, throws the ball down the field, and the ball is dropped. Foster is forced to punt. The Longhorns line up for their first offensive play. Antonio hands it off to Darius Anderson, who breaks through the middle and races to the left and gets about 20 yards. On the second play, the Longhorns hand it off to Darius Anderson again, who runs up the middle for another Longhorn first down. On the Longhorns third play, the ball is headed off to Darius Anderson again, who goes around the left side and runs down to about the 20 yard line. The Longhorns now face a second and long. Antonio takes the snap, looks to his left, throws it down the field and connects with a great catch to Broderick Thompson. The Longhorns face a fourth and 10. The Longhorns decide to go for it. Antonio sets up the offense. The ball snapped, Antonio goes back, throws it to the left, but a great play by the Falcon defender. Makes the ball incomplete and Foster takes over. The Falcons are unable to move the ball and face a third and 10. The Falcon quarterback takes a snap, hands off to number three, but number three is run down with a great tackle by Jerry McVay. The Falcons are stopped and forced to putt again. The Longhorns get the ball after a short punt around the 50 yard line. The ball is handed off to Darius Anderson. Great blocking, clears away, and Darius runs down to about the 10 yard line. Two plays later, it's second to goal. Antonio takes a snap, hands it off to Alex Fontenot, who cuts back and bulldozes through the Falcons, crosses the goal line, and the Longhorns score the first touchdown of the night and go up six to nothing. And the fans rejoice. The extra point is lined up. The snap is back, and it is GWOD good. The Longhorns take a seven to nothing lead over the Falcons with 538 left in the first quarter. Foster gets the ball back, but they face another 30 long. The quarterback takes a snap, throws it, and finally connects. The Falcons get their first first down. Unable to run the ball, the Falcons face another 30 long. On 39, the Falcon quarterback takes a snap, goes back, throws it deep, and the ball is complete with a great diving catch. The Falcons move the ball inside the 10 yard line. The Falcons have the ball on the four yard line. On first down, the quarterback takes the ball and connects with a great jumping catch. The Falcons score a touchdown. And now the game is at six to seven. The Falcons line up for the extra point and it goes right through the middle of the uprights. The game is now tied at seven to seven with 2.36 left in the first quarter. 
the Falcon defense forces the Longhorns to a three and out. The Falcons get the ball, drive down the field. The quarterback takes the ball, rolls to his left, throws it, and a great catch right inside the pylon is a touchdown. The Falcons take the lead, 13 to seven over the Longhorns. The Falcons line up for the extra point and it is good. The score is now Falcons 14 and the Longhorns 7 with 9.55 left in the second quarter. The Falcon defense forces another three and out for the Longhorns, but they face a third and eight. The quarterback takes the ball, goes back, throws it down the field, and it is complete for a touchdown. The Falcons take a 20 to seven lead. Falcons line up for the extra point. The snap is back down and it goes through the uprights. The score is now Foster 21 and the George Ranch Longhorns 7. The Longhorns get the ball back but face a third and three. Antonio lines up the offense. The ball is snapped but the Falcon defense once again swarms the Longhorns and stops the Longhorns, making it fourth down and one. Foster gets the ball, gets a first down, but they face a third and long. The pass is thrown, but falls incomplete. They can get fourth down, and Foster is forced to put the ball. The Longhorns having got a first down since their touchdown. Antonio takes the ball, throws it down the field, and a great catch by Broderick Thompson gives the Longhorns a first down. A quarterback sack by the Foster Falcons forces another Longhorn punt. The Falcons get the ball, and on the last play of the second quarter, the running back takes the ball, runs down the field, but is forced out of bounds. At halftime, it's 21 to seven Falcons. The Longhorns get the ball to start the third quarter, but face a third and long. Antonio goes back, throws it down the field, and connects with Broderick Thompson for a Longhorn first down. The Falcon defense forces the Longhorns into a fourth and seven. The Longhorns decide to go for it. On a critical play, the ball is snapped, and Joshua Scruggs gets the ball on the reverse and goes down for about a 20-yard gain, giving the Longhorns a first down. The Falcon defense once again makes a stand. It's fourth and six. The Longhorns decide to go for it. The ball is pitched to Alex Fontenot who gets around the corner and goes down to the three yard line. On first to go, the Longhorns line up. The ball is handed to Joshua Scruggs who goes around the corner and bulldozes across the goal line. The Longhorns score the first points of the second half. And the Longhorn fans rejoice. The Longhorns line up for the field goal and it goes through the uprights. The score is now Longhorns 14 and the Falcons 21. With the score now 14 to 21, the Longhorns kick out to the Falcons. It's kicked down to the left hand sideline, but the Falcon stops out of bounds and a penalty moves the ball back. On the Falcons' first play of the second half, the ball is snapped, and Toby Adugwe goes to the line and stops the run for a loss. On second and long, the quarterback gets the ball in the end zone, nowhere to throw, and he's tackled by a host of Longhorns. It's now on the one-yard line. It's now third and 15 from the one yard line. The quarterback takes the ball. A swarm of Longhorns surround him and he's tackled, but the ball is extended over the goal line to avoid his safety. The Longhorns get the ball after a short punt, move down the field. Antonio takes the ball. He throws it down the field and a great interception by the Falcons. The Falcons get the ball back. The Falcons get the ball, go down the field, get a first down, but face a third and five. The quarterback goes back, throws it deep, but it is incomplete. A great defensive play makes the pass incomplete. On fourth and six, the Falcons decide to punt. A bad snap is bobbled by the punter, and Toby Adugwe blocks the punt. The Longhorns recover. 
the Longhorn special team sets up the offense. An excellent field position. And the Longhorn fans rejoice. The third quarter starts with the Longhorns having the ball. The ball is pitched to Darius Anderson who, whoop, cuts back and goes untouched into the end zone. The Longhorns score again. And the capacity wide out Longhorn Nation crowd rejoices. The extra point is lined up. The ball is snapped. It's down and the extra point is G double OD good. The score is all tied up at 21 to 21 with 11.50 left in the fourth quarter. Foster desperately needing offense. The quarterback goes back on first down, throws it deep. The ball is intercepted, but out of bounds. The Falcons desperately needing a first down. Have it at third and long. The quarterback takes a snap, but is sacked by Toby Adukwe. The Falcons are forced to punt again. The Longhorns get the ball after a short punt. Antonio hands it off to Darius Anderson, who gets up the middle and gets a first down for the Longhorn. On the second play, the Longhorns line up. The ball is given to Darius Anderson again, who breaks through the middle as shoestring tackle stops him. Two plays later, the Longhorns line up. The ball is handed off to Alex Fontenot, who gets through the line, goes to his right and races to the goal line, and dives and puts the ball across the goal line. The Longhorns take the lead, 27 to 21, and the fans rejoice. The Longhorns line up for the extra point. The snap is back down and it is good. The Longhorns have the lead 28 to 21 over the Falcons with 9.19 left in the fourth quarter. After a run and an incomplete pass, the Falcons have it third and five. The quarterback is sacked by Dawson Hawkins. The Longhorns stop the Falcons again. The Falcon defense forces a three and out. The Falcons get the ball back. On second down, the quarterback goes back, but is tackled and sacked by a host of Longhorns. Facing a third and long, the Falcons go back. The quarterback goes back and throws a screen, but it's stopped by the Longhorns, forcing another Falcon punt. The Longhorns have the ball up 28 to 21. On first down, Antonio hands off to Darius Anderson, who breaks through the line and whoop, makes the Falcons miss, and he's off to the races. <laughs> Darius Anderson's run puts the Longhorns up 34 to 21. The Longhorns line up for the extra point. A bad slap is placed down and it is good. The Longhorns now lead the Falcons 35 to 21, 28 unanswered points. The Longhorns line up for the kickoff. It's boom down the field and fielded by the Falcons. Number three takes the ball, cuts to his left and he is gone. He cuts back again and he won't be caught by the Longhorns. Number three takes the ball into the end zone and puts the game at 27 to 35. The Falcons line up for the extra point. The step is back and the kick is good. It's a one score game at 35 to 28. The Falcons line up for an onside kick. The kicker goes back and kicks the ball. An excellent bounce, the ball is fumbled, but the Longhorns recover the ball. A holding penalty moves the ball back, but the Longhorns move the ball up and have a third and long. Alex Fontenot gets the ball, runs to his left, bounces off the Falcons, and runs down the field for a first down to the 24-yard line. The Falcons are out of timeouts. It's fourth and two with less than a minute left. The Longhorns take the ball and run it and get a first down. The Longhorns have the ball with 57 seconds left. 
the clock keeps ticking. The Longhorns get into victory formation, take a knee, and down ticks the clock to 0 0 0. The Longhorns come back, score 28 unanswered points, and beat the Falcons 35 to 28 and go to 6 0 on the season. Enjoy.